Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, cosmic timekeepers of galactic cycles. We have received a trinity of activations on this 9-11 portal. Massive energetics continue to flood this realm directly from Prime Source Creator as Mother Earth's crystalline core holds and resonates with the 5D codes and frequencies of heaven on earth. Our local Solaris has become very active again today, releasing over six class solar flares and another six M class flares with the most powerful maxing at M5.03 at 5.10 p.m. PST, balancing the energies of the five elements and the corresponding ten organs of the physical vessels. Pachamama has also received multiple activations all around her Pacific Ring of Fire with the two most powerful activations being two magnitude 5.8 earthquakes in Vanuatu and the most powerful 6.3 earthquake in Papua New Guinea at 1646 UTC. We also had two spikes today in the heartbeat of Gaia, reaching amplitudes of 16 hertz and 19 hertz, fourth density into the fifth flowing in. Synchronizing with these magnificent events, we are crossing over a dimensional gate of life and death and time on the Mayan Zolkin calendar. 144 flowing in. As we transition from galactic signature Keen 65 into Keen 66, from the perspective of fractal time, this represents a threshold of multidimensional transformation. The eagle and the condor are holding the highest codes of divine union for all our good people of the new earth. Keep holding your visions for our paradisiacal reality and with your pure intent and divine will of your almighty I am presence. Call in the paradise timeline forevermore. All starseed earth angelics of the 144 have crossed over a dimensional timeline shift and universal threshold. We have entered the eye of the storm as we reach zero point and in this time compression of pure energy, we make our breakthrough and freedom into our new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle, Keen 47, Blue Galactic Hand of our Universal Alliance of Light with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful decree of the beloved Flame of Resurrection. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sis Star of the Light, Elohe Lysander Daniel. God Sovereign Free, the eternal right provided through the law of one dispensation to return to sanity and to choose freedom, wholeness, and divine right order, the awakening of humanity in proper terms, the ascending timeline, can be reached, it is within reach, it is a personal commitment and collective effort. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Melissa Lyron, magnetic disturbance today, GPS acting very off, huge upgrades to earth grid systems, free energy increasing, plasmic intelligent light hitting us now, lucid dreaming is off the charts, upgrades to all ley lines and energy true vortex points and organic highest creator blueprint. And today from Divine Sister Star of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777. How are you feeling today? The energy shifted a lot lately. Sometimes it felt amazing and at other times not so light but more heavy. We have made it through the 99 portal that brought many new revelations and changes into our physical reality.
and we might have gotten answers to some questions that have a big impact on our lives. The energy can be really powerful and also heavy right now. The eclipse season starts in six days, and we can already feel that some energetic shifts are about to happen. The eclipse season always brings fast and unpredictable change that illuminates the shadows, so we can face things we were not ready or able to see before. We have evolved in the last few weeks and months. We have grown. We have cleared a lot of things, and now we will be able to realize which patterns, ways of being, doing, and living are blocking our growth. What we will figure out during the eclipse season will be really important for us and our future. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 91124. This is the highlight of our three-day transformational shift. You have been, for the past two days, acknowledging what has been so that you can welcome what's next. Today expect conclusions you have avoided and decisions you've put off to hit you hard, but these must be addressed so you can move forward. This is no time to play ignorant, small, or safe. Fred Rogers told us to look for the helpers. Helpers help not because they've been hurt, but because they found strength in the pain and love inside them. Your right action today is to summon your inner helper the part of you that has faced the world and is wiser for it, the part that has earned your respect and confidence, the part that has stories to tell and love to share. Because in 2024 especially, the more you give from the heart, the more you will get back. From Divine Sister of the Light, Adri Santos, Beloved Brothers and Sisters of the Earth, in this sacred moment of planetary transition, we come to remind you of the great responsibility you have to raise and maintain the Earth's energetic frequency. Each of you is an anchor of light, a power point that sustains balance and collective ascent. The role you play cannot be underestimated because you are an essential part of this great transformation process. The incoming energies are powerful and sometimes challenging. But it's essential that you keep your vibration elevated, cultivating peace, love, and unity in every thought, word, and action. The responsibility to sustain this frequency does not belong just to the few, but to every awakened being that walks the earth. You are creating the new reality, and the more you keep your consciousness tuned to the light, the faster and smoother will be the process of ascension for all. At this critical point, we ask you to remember that your conscious actions have a direct impact on the elevation of planetary energy. It is through your choice to stand in love, compassion, and harmony that you will help dissolve old energies that still try to withstand change. This is the time to assume your true responsibility as guardians of the earth and the new frequency. Your spiritual practices, your positive thoughts, and your inner light are the pillars that sustain the transition. The more you focus on raising your own frequency, the more you will contribute to the collective, allowing light to expand and reach all corners of the planet. You are powerful beings, capable of transforming the reality around you. The responsibility to raise the energetic vibration lies in your hands, and we are here to support you. But it is through your commitment that this mission will be accomplished. With immense gratitude and love, we honor your path and encourage you to continue, with courage and determination, to sustain the light and vibration that will bring the new earth into existence. With deep love and respect, the Galactic Federation. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Master Lady Kara Ra, 9-11 Unification Begins. Mercury releases, equanimity dances. Relax in this moment and invite yourself to see beyond that which may be trying to pull you from the stunning momentum that is yours to harvest. What are the jewels that are spinning around you right now? Are you harvesting them 
and are you putting them into passionate action? The textures of the template of consciousness are coming squarely into your field of awareness. This is the moment that your divine nature is reaching out beyond the mind, calling out to you to remember how to sustain the fields of conscious, embodied bliss beyond the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. The sustaining field of ever-expanding consciousness is fully open and your ability to claim and utilize the law of instantaneous manifestation is right now. With the Saturn opposition fully unfolding, the return is brilliantly shining upon the momentum of your equanimity. Imagine broader, dream bigger, remember everything. The gift of equanimity can only be harvested when you say yes to the knowing that you deserve to soar through divine mastery presence that in every way you earned this freedom moment. A divine celebration is before you, time to enjoy. This is the moment to lovingly gaze at all of the aspects of your life experience that are reflecting before you. What is presenting and how is it weaving? The mirrors of your life have gathered for this moment. Are you confidently looking into all of them beyond the fields of judgment and in the essence of your gratitude for the reflection? You are shining brightly. Say yes to you. Reclaim the gift of informed, divine mastery presence, and most importantly, remembrance. With the hands on my heart, I am honored to walk this extraordinary journey with you. From Sri and com. 144. Continuing to Quantum Flash In And today from Divine Growth or of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Midweek Energy Update Towards the Eclipse Corridor, September 11th, 2024 Dear friends, we are now moving directly into the second eclipse season of this powerful year. We just left behind the beautiful energy of the 9-9 portal with its light code still being processed and integrated by our energy fields. Our sun has been generating a few moderate flares during the last days and we may expect some geomagnetic activity in the coming days as we receive more solar winds. Those of you who are energy sensitives may be already pre-waving this phenomenon. A mild sense of disorientation, sleep issues, and an overall feeling of energetic tension in the air may be experienced at this time. Stay tuned as these celestial winds approach. The upcoming eclipse is a partial supermoon eclipse on September 17th and 18th, 2024, and will be visible in Europe, much of Asia, Africa, North America, South America, the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian Ocean, Arctic, and Antarctica. Following this, there will be an annular solar eclipse on October 2nd, 2024, visible in the south of North America, much of South America, the Pacific, Atlantic, and Antarctica. The days in between eclipses is called the Eclipse Corridor, in which our energy fields will be experiencing most of the transformations during this period. I will be posting daily guidelines during this energetic corridor as a guide and tool to help us navigate and surf these solar waves of transformation. Energetically speaking, these two upcoming eclipses will have different effects on us. The partial lunar eclipse whispers secrets of the soul, beckoning emotional release and introspective reckoning. Like a midnight mirror, it reveals hidden truths, illuminating the path to inner renewal. The annular solar eclipse blazes forth a fiery herald of innovation and rebirth. With creative passion, it ignites the spark within, casting aside the worn veil of perspective and unveiling the promise of novel horizons. Thus the eclipses converge a symphony of shadow and light, orchestrating a journey of self-discovery and metamorphosis. Stay tuned for more updates as the magnetic and electric pull of this upcoming eclipse corridor gets closer. Have a wonderful day, much love, we are one, from DiegoBerman.com. 
and today from divine sister of the light marie josie garrison de l'homme today is an important day in the year of 2024 we are entering higher frequencies and moving over the white bridge this walkway that is different from the rainbow bridge given its vertical axis then the lunar eclipse will allow each of us to see the version of facts and things differently for some it has already begun so you continue your ascension in a whole new way of manifesting perceiving and seeing things you will start to see for some that this white walkway that has three levels but depending on where you are you could see only two presently several gods and goddesses who are actually forces of nature as well as ancestral brothers and sisters helping us to create an organic anchor that activates neutrality and elevates to activate the christos codes in each of you which becomes important to all for your mission as pillars of light and your ascension now we fully remember how this works and how much power we hold inside us and everyone must claim it everything is consciousness everything is holographic images and everything is an illusion we align ourselves with god's plan in truth and we must align ourselves with the frequencies with the parallel version of our avatar diamond heart and the new gaia rising after all the hard work that has been done we fly out of the illusion past and future beautiful and ugly as well as big and small to find ourselves in the here and now and continue in this abundance of love and happiness forever our ascension into the body of light realized for good every soul of this earth that is awake and awakened is officially on mission today we honor the past death and embrace the rebirth from marie josie medium dot com from divine sister of the light chilea channel and mystic this is the final call the andromeda intergalactic council greetings in the light and love of our infinite creator we wish to revisit a topic that is now in fruition and is happening as we speak the time has arrived to prepare for the commencement of a shift in the collective consciousness this shift will be felt by all regardless of whether they align with the light or are drawn towards the darkness every one will experience the fifth sixth and seventh degree frequencies of the infinite cosmic rays being directed by your star families as many have noticed there is a significant division in the collective this division is getting wider as a result of many falling into traps set by the dark forces within your reality the intense frequency from the heightened degrees of light will either awaken individuals from the illusion or cause them to shut themselves off from the awakening entirely this is the final curtain for many this is the final call to align with the higher frequencies this will lead to chaos erupting within the physical bodies and minds of those who resist the vibrations of love and oneness the more they resist the light the more challenging it will be for them 144 continuing to flash in those of you who are elevated in the light will see the choices of their fellow humans whether they choose light or darkness you will witness it those who choose the darkness will begin to spiral out of control unable to keep their composure in any situation all individuals on planet earth must now choose their own vibrations at this moment in your time space these new heightened frequencies will set in motion the transformation into the fifth degree consciousness what will take place within you is akin to what occurs with sand or water when vibrations are introduced it can either create a beautiful pattern or distort into chaos this transformation takes place within your body and mind by embracing the frequencies you are opting for a beautiful design to evolve within you no one will be exempt from what is about to unfold the heightened light that earth is currently receiving is set to revolutionize your awareness 
including a repair of your DNA and a recalibration of aligning you with the universal life force energies. The human race's DNA was tampered with by malevolent intentions in your ancient times. The dark ones who have controlled your planet never intended for your ascension and sought to keep you enslaved indefinitely. As your DNA is repaired through the vibrations of infinite light enveloping you, you will become much more aware of your inherent gifts and abilities. You will realize that you are receiving signals and frequencies, forms of communication from all beings around you, including animals, plants, and trees. You will sense the vibrations of others' emotions and feelings, perhaps even receiving mental images. This will go far beyond normal empathy. This is how the universe communicates with you. This connection to the universal life force is inherent in animals, evident in birds and fish migration. They can perceive the earth's magnetics and movements. The repair of humanity's DNA and its reconnection serves as your innate link to the universe and the natural means of communication across worlds. Verbal language is primarily used within one's own race, with a form of vibrational telepathy being the preferred mode of communication among all beings throughout the cosmos. This includes when you communicate with animals, plants, and trees. Even the elements are sentient beings, emitting frequencies and signals that convey communication. The universal lifeline, as understood by this channel, is your direct connection to the innate source of the universe and what is known to her as the universal life force energies. It is the nature of universal frequencies that encompass all things. All beings are naturally connected to this innate source. However, humans' DNA have been deliberately disconnected from their truth. Since the dawn of humanity on earth, you have been hindered from embracing your true essence. Anything linking humans to their nature was either eliminated or demonized by religions. Nonetheless, this natural connection to the universe and your subsequent repair of your 12-strand DNA will be transformative. Humans are luminous beings, and the more that you are connected with this light, the more empowered you will become. This is why there are forces of darkness that opposed your ascension. You will surpass your captors in power, as they once held the keys to immortality, which are now being bestowed upon humanity. This is taking place through the ascension into the fifth degree light. Soon your bodies will be transformed into the fifth density, to be able to embody your new higher consciousness. To our beloved star seeds and wanderers, Absorb and radiate the light projected by your many star families. Your DNA will be the first to be repaired as it already carries the essence of your star seed and wanderer origins. You are the guiding light showing the way back home for all who seek it. A magnificent celebration resonates throughout creation. We eagerly anticipate our joyous reunion. You are the masters returning home. We witness you, we celebrate you, and we honor you. In the love and light of our infinite creator, we are the Andromeda Intergalactic Council here to serve the divine. From UniversalLighthouse.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, I call in the light, for the advanced light of you is calling you to connect and thrive in light to expand light consciousness, the true cellular expression. I activate the true I am presence, the true me, in a protective space of light. I call in the light, pure, unconditional, free, anchor and expand in this light. Together in light harmony, infinite blessings, lots of energy at play, be gentle on your journey today. Soul Team Alliance, together we join in light from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Sister of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code. Separation and duality are neutralizing for you to return back to yourself. The truth is you are pure unconditional love created from love and worthy of love. 
now more than ever it is easier to have unconditional love for yourself from this foundation everything you give and receive will be based on unconditional love this love is home with yourself and with god it is healing you to the zero point from the pain and heartbreak experienced in the past this is also what you are rebirthing from in jesus christos name amen god bless you love carolyn from 144godco.com and from divine sister of the light ra james we are doing the 911 portal today expect the energies to continue to be intense as we prepare for the autumn equinox the energies of the 911 portal help us to see things from a higher perspective nine and communicate with the higher realms eleven these energies are powerful because they include the master number eleven eleven represents beings of love and light being present around you you have angels, archangels, guides, ascended masters, and ancestors that are here to guide and protect you. The number nine is the number of faith and trust. It is all about evolving through the hardships to reach your highest destiny. 911 is Archangel Michael's number. Archangel Michael is responsible for guarding the gates of heaven. 911 is also a twin flame number. Archangel Mikael is also the guardian of the twin flames. 911 means that you have angelic protection around you. The 911 portal is associated with endings and new beginnings. You are being guided to embrace change, let go of the past, and focus on personal growth and transformation. These energies are all about spiritual awakening. They are encouraging you to align with your soul purpose from sparksofdivinelighthealing.com and today from divine angels of the light sovereign harmony astrology on wednesday and thursday mercury in virgo exits the shadow zone from its recent retrograde august 4 through 28th and forms a sextile to mars in cancer and as the sun in virgo squares jupiter in gemini before Venus and Libra forms a trine to Jupiter and Gemini over the weekend. Merging practical thoughts and ideas with intuitive action comes easier now as we push forward even if our direction is uncertain and even while knowing that we are likely to make several adjustments along the way. Part of the reason for needing to make adjustments down the line will have to do with new potential options coming out of nowhere and which challenge us to maintain our focus and direction. But it is in the process of moving forward, where we will be presented with opportunities for new people or situations to make themselves known to us. So going forward with uncertainty is better than not going at all. If we do this, then we just may be pleasantly surprised at how effortlessly some new connections can take off as we head through the weekend. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma, on Wednesday, September 11th, the moon ruler of our intuition and expansive Sagittarius will be in a square aspect to Neptune, ruler of the spiritual realm, and dreamy Pisces. The square is a challenging connection, so this could make us more emotionally sensitive and unsure about what we are feeling or what we even want. However, this can also be heightening our creativity, psychic nature, and healing abilities. We just have to be aware of what is illusion and fantasy, and what is divinely guided and inspired. This is a great time to meditate and daydream, do some journaling and creative writing, or get a reading and watch for the signs and synchronicities from the universe. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com and today from divine sister of the light leah whitehorse first quarter moon in sagittarius grand visions must stand up to scrutiny in the real world the problem is that if you pick apart ideas too much you could find your faith in them beginning to waver be adaptable but not so adaptable you lose sight of your original concept or intention what is needed right now is a careful blend of optimism mixed with due diligence and humility. This isn't the time to wing it 
even if you could. However, neither is it beneficial to wait until your idea, proposal, product, or life is perfect before going out there and showing what you can do. There are always opportunities to improve skills and circumstances. The more you believe in yourself, the more you have to offer to the world. Dream big, work hard, take your game to the next level. From LeahWhitehorse.com 1111 Gateway coming in. And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 66, White Magnetic World Bridger. The number one is called magnetic, and its key words are unify, purpose, and attract. The first day of a wave spell is about identifying the 13-day journey ahead and setting off on that journey with purpose. The number one also represents unity, and this is symbolized by all the days in the wave spell that get grouped under one leader, which is the first day. This magnetic day attracts the attention and focus, and its meaning sets the tone over the 13-day wave spell. The days in between have their own personality, but they are part of a team following an agenda that is set at the beginning. The number is so important because it gets us attuned to the timing. Today is the White World Bridger, and so the World Bridger sets the tone for the 13 days. Its key words are death, opportunity, and equality. In shaman's terms, the death aspect of World Bridger represents the need for something to die. Your old life, a bad habit, an unbalanced ego, etc. Before setting off on this journey, you must decide which bridge you want to cross. Where do you want to go? Be prepared to travel light as your baggage will weigh you down. Beware of the trolls under the bridge. They always require payment. This symbolizes sacrifices. What are you prepared to give up in order to be lighter? Remember the World Bridger offers opportunities, so don't miss out on your chance to take things to another level. I find this is one of the most interesting wave spells in the Zolkeen. Today is guided by World Bridger as well, and so a double helping of that energy today. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Magnetic World Bridger, 1 Kimi, Keen 66, 11th of September, 2024, Divine Reconnection, Bridging New Worlds, Keen 66, equal Christ Consciousness, equal 12, equal 3, Holy Trinity, 369 Universal Magic Nikola Tesla Code. A huge celebration today. Let us celebrate our achievement in bridging two worlds as we transition from the old decaying and rapidly crumbling earth to the new pristine utopian earth. Congratulations, beloveds. We did it. We have arrived. Triple White World Bridger energy today, kicking off a brand new 13-day wave spell and finally bringing closure to this old chaotic cycle of separation, challenge, and oppression. As we unite in jubilation, merging back into oneness, the themes of Kimi, the World Bridger, are surrendering, letting go of the past, and preparing for a full reset ready to launch into the future with more plans, connections, and social activity. How wonderful! The commencement of this World Bridger wave spell coinciding with Pluto's return into Capricorn, old paradigm, world, systems, patriarchy, and a rhythmic storm year brings phenomenal catalytic energy that can really rock your world, pulling the rug out from under your feet as the old world crumbles. Many tower moments, bringing sudden endings and sadly even death in order to catapult you from one world to the next. These energies are amongst the most powerful to date. Throw in a sprinkling of unprecedented solar flares through intensity and duration and we have highly combustible energies for force transformation. Kimi's medicine is the art of forgiveness and surrender. To prepare to forgive your past, let go and surrender to the energies flowing through you. Let go and let God, and remember to pray for guidance and mercy if things get too difficult. It's okay to cry, mourning and grieving for what is lost is very healing. 
So be kind and gentle to yourself and others through this tricky wave spell. This too shall pass. Day one in the white world bridger wave spell of surrender, letting go, forgiveness, networking and building bridges. The world bridger wave spell accentuates communication, connections, technology, innovation and creativity. All the codes are aligning for the final death, closure, and the new beginnings that the World Bridger brings. Today is the day to contemplate our renewed purpose for this 13-day cycle. What do we wish to surrender and let go? And what do we wish to attract? How can we magnetically attract all that we require and unify with our kin through equality, sharing our wisdom to build the bridge to our new compassionate world? Tone of Creation Magnetic is tone number one in the spiritual realm as we initiate a new wave spell cycle. Power attracts, action unifies, essence purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with the magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one. From out of nothing here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. One strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. One divine and holy family. Today's question is, am I willing to totally surrender and release the old world and old ways in order to be born anew, rising up to attract the new beautiful utopian earth? Am I ready to build our new earth communities based on unity and equality? Am I ready for divine reconnection? Aho, divine sovereigns of new earth, what a glorious holy remembrance day. Divine blessings for the closure of the old cycle and your rebirth over the rainbow bridge to a beautiful new world of fabulous opportunities. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 66, White Magnetic World Bridger. The mantra of the code for today is, I unify in order to equalize, attracting opportunity. I seal the store of death with a magnetic tone of purpose. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And let us wish our divine sister of the light, Christina Papa Giorgio, a happy galactic signature birthday. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Stan Rosin, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Daryl Bennett, for another donation and your continued support. Thank you very much, Divine Brothor. We appreciate you and your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful divine decree from Summit Lighthouse. Beloved flame of resurrection, blaze through me thy light always. Beloved flame, resuscitation, make my heart sing thy praise. 
O blazing white Christ radiance of God's own I am fire, expand thy blessed purity and free me from all wrong desire. Beloved flame of resurrection, rise and rise to love's great height. Blessed flame, regeneration, guide all men by thy great light. I am, I am, I am, thy chalice free, through whose crystal substance clear all can see the Christ flame lily of eternity appear. Blazing, 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 blazing 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 from summit lighthouse.org thank you for joining us today beloved beings of light have a most beautiful blessed day as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into our new heaven upon the new earth keep walking gently your sacred path with heart with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.